Good morning, everyone. Jennifer asked me to do a little uh, day in the life of cranberry grower in winter, so it's cold. Four degrees this morning. We had a heat wave the last two days. Today's Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, we actually hit 30 degrees, which felt amazing. I was able to uh, get a bunch of dirt hauled with the dump truck, working on a reservoir project, building up some of the reservoir dikes. But now today it's too cold to haul, so I need to switch gears. First order of business every morning is load the wood burner. We're reading, uh, I don't know if you can see that, 129 degrees. That's what it's down to. We got coals, we got a rake, and we got to load it up. And once this is loaded, it'll keep us warm the entire day. All right, here we go. That will keep us warm the entire day, even with this cold weather. So I'll load it again tonight after supper and that'll get us through the night. Today we're gonna be rolling snow on some cranberry beds. I have about 20 acres I wanna sand this winter. We have great ice, about 16 inches of ice, because we've had quite a bit of cold. So we got some snow on the ice and I gotta pack that snow down so that it can harden and then I'll be able to drive the dump truck right on the snow and spread the sand. So, of course it's too cold for tractors to want to start so we gotta plug this old, well not that old, this old girl in. Let me get the cord. I don't know if you can hear that, but the heater is going. So we'll let this uh, heat the engine block for about an hour and then it'll start right up. I gotta get into the house and do about an hour's worth of paperwork in the office, but then that's my next project. While the tractor is running and warming, I'll be piling all that wood. So we get all that firewood piled up and then it'll be down onto the marsh with the snow roller. It's warmed up to five, paperwork's done. Had to uh, do the monthly payroll taxes. Had to order some parts. Yesterday, I had to recertify for my uh, nutrient management planning. And so I can, I'm certified to write my own fertilizer plan for the farm. So I was recertified yesterday and I just had some record keeping I had to catch up on. So got that done. Now we're gonna get some real work done. like the battery's gonna die I see all right well I'll go switch batteries cameras do not like the cold at least five degrees they don't like so tractors running it's warming up like I said before we got to roll snow but right now we got firewood to pile uh, I like burning wood I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I'm physically able it's a lot of work but it's really nice to see what you got done at the end of the day. That bin is basically full, but see that pile there? That has to get piled. Let's get to it. Nothing prettier than a well-stacked wood pile, right? Gotta love it. All right, we got the drawbar on the back of the tractor here. I'll show you. 
not too exciting. It's down there. I had to go to the back of the shed and pull it off the Kubota. But uh, the snow roller's down on the marsh. So we gotta get down there and get hooked up and uh, roll some snow. twice because uh, the first time the roller was froze to the ground so he didn't see me bust it loose with the tractor bucket but got it loose got it hooked up so let's go roll some snow so this roller I built it's just a bunch of dump truck tires all together going down onto the frozen cranberry bed right now We are on the ice. You can see that the roller compacts the snow. And now we just start making circles. Because we have to compact all the snow on the cranberry bed. This entire cranberry bed. Yep. All of it. Is that going to work? Hope so. Let's get moving. Well, it's starting to warm up. It's up to nine. All right, this first round is always a little scary because it's by the ditch. mark the ditch edges in the fall before we flood so I know how close I can get with the tractor and the dump truck but it still makes a guy nervous it's no fun going in the ditch and it usually happens like the last hour of the day you know when it's starting to get dark and you're tired and yeah that's usually when you break through the ice I don't know if you can see that in the back, but that roller is just flattening the snow, pushing it down right against the ice. You give this a couple days, 
this snow will harden to the point where you can drive on it with a loaded dump truck. And it's a lot faster than uh, trying to plow. Plowing takes so much time. So it's going to be cold this whole week. Next week it's going to warm up. I'll finish my uh, upper pond hauling project. These cold days I'll cut firewood. Uh, but then once we get the upper pond hauling project done, we will uh, put the screen on the dump truck and the sander on the back of the dump truck. We'll start sanding these beds. Well, it appears that the middle of the bed is almost blown clear of snow, which is great. Well, it looks like I'm only going to have to roll the edges to really save time. I haven't heard any cracking or popping of the ice, so I think our ice is pretty solid. It's been a great year for making ice this year. That's not always the case. But you take it when you can. Well, so far so good. So we gotta do bed seven. 8, 9, and 10 today. Okay, we just got done rolling snow on about 20 acres. We only had to do uh, two laps around each bed because the center of the bed was blown clear enough. There's maybe an inch of snow on the center, so the dump truck will roll right through that. All I really had to do was smash down the drifts along the edge so we can get those uh, to harden up for hauling. So now I'm going to unhook the rig and it's about 20 after 12. I'm going to grab some quick lunch. my videos. I'm not a vlogger. Alright guys, we're going to cut some wood, 
I got some firewood here left over from last week that needs to be split. I got all these pieces that need to get turned into something we can use. I got the splitter, everything I need. I've been working in this part of my wood lot. A lot of these red oak and black oak trees are reaching maturity and some of them are starting to die and uh, could be oak wilt, not real sure but uh, I'm turning them into firewood and and if it is oak wilt maybe I can get ahead of it. This is what we are gonna do and I'm gonna shut up and get to work. That's what we got done. Now we just gotta haul all this back to the woodshed. But that'll be for tomorrow, so right now I have to get into the shop. Sam and I are building that utility trailer, so I gotta switch gears, go from splitting wood to uh, welding. And uh, actually I'm teaching Sam how to weld, so uh, I gotta play the role of teacher here and, and try to help him with his welding skills a little bit. And you're probably wondering, is this a typical day in the winter for a cranberry grower? And I would have to say, yeah. Uh, you know, it's a really varied job. Uh, I spend three weeks, sometimes four weeks in the winter cutting firewood. And it's not all day every day because every day you have an hour or two of paperwork. You're doing a lot of planning for the growing season. Uh, you're uh, 
you know the winter time is is when you plan for how you want to grow the crop and you're ordering inputs like uh, drain tile um, I already have all my fertilizer bought because I tell you what with the fertilizer market right now if you weren't on the ball uh, you're gonna be paying a ton of money for fertilizer this year so um, the jobs quite varied I'm really controlled by the weather if it's warm I'm hauling dirt or I'm sanding or any of those warm weather winter activities uh, that's happening uh, the rest of this week it'll be cutting wood next week it's going to warm up so I'm going to be back to hauling dirt and if we got some cold days I'll be jumping back into firewood and you know it's the variety that I love with this job love it out here that's going to keep us warm next year Sam's welding again, trying to trying to teach him what I know, and he's doing pretty well. This is going to round out the end of the day. It's 4:30 right now, so we're going to weld for about a half hour and uh, call it quits at five o'clock. So that's my day today. We will uh, see you next time on Country Life. All right, take care. <laughs>